When armed teenagers got into John McDonough Senior High through a hole in a fence, then murdered a student on campus, school officials in New Orleans were quick to talk about making schools safer. We need to address leadership in our buildings uh, from the principals on down. Uh, we need to start enforcing our rules, uh, dress codes, discipline codes, uh, attendance policies. There was emphasis on limiting access, visibility of armed guards, and a new focus on tearing down blighted houses around schools. Getting rid of blighted houses around schools is just part of the solution, but even students will tell you a bigger problem is they can come and go as they please. Look at this hole at Clark High School. The students here come in and out of it every day. That means they can also bring weapons with them. 11 a.m. on a Wednesday, students congregate by that gaping hole. It doesn't take long to see why. They walk out the bank gate because they're cutting school. They're leaving. One by one, they slip out, undetected by school resource officers, who position themselves on the other side of campus. These students aren't shy. Why come out that hole? Why not go out the front door? Ain't nobody out the front because they ain't going to let you out the front. Ain't nobody out here. Everybody get their little, their little um, you know, they, whatever they have to bring that they ain't, ain't going to let you bring up that, they, they get it through this hole back here. And nobody's watching? Ain't nobody watch this hole back here. They know about the hole? Yeah, ain't nobody. They don't care. It's not just about leaving early. This student is just getting to class. Forget about going through the school's metal detector. How many people would you say come in and out of this hole every day? A hundred. Ain't and nobody in school. They all leave. Do you think that they're getting weapons in and out of school? Mm -hmm. Here's another one, getting her lunch delivered. And watch this student. He slips out the hole, hangs out and talks to someone in a van, then slips back in. It's now 2 o'clock. You think? People don't want to be standing up in here all day. Well, right. People got stuff to do, and it's, you know, they don't. And it's hot. And it's hot. The house too, they need air conditioning. So there's no air conditioning? Nope. nope. They don't People have things to do. Yep. We contacted school officials, but we're told they're unavailable. Renee Gill Pratt is on the city council. Something is wrong with that picture. Uh, first of all, the students, uh, first of all, probably don't value education, so they're leaving school, and maybe there's not a consequence. Students know that and admit they don't want the fence repaired. I don't want to see the gate fixed because I ain't going to be able to get out there no more.